Today we head back deep into the high desert and visit an airport that almost sounds derogatory, Inyo Kern Airport. The name is derived from its location near the borders of both Inyo County and Kern County. Many of the airports that we visited in SoCal were open because of World War II. That wasn't the case for this airport. In the mid-1930s, an airline, Transierra Airlines, wanted a route from Fresno, California to Phoenix, Arizona. The FAA, which was called the CAA at the time, granted it with the provision that an emergency airfield be built. And that was in Yokern Airport. But a couple of years later, we did have World War II, and in 1942, the Army took it over. In 1943, the Navy took it over, and eventually, after the war was over, in 1946, it was returned to the county. So this is the desert, and for any of you guys who have watched my previous videos, you guys know one thing about the desert is it gets windy. And you never know which way the wind's coming from, and actually this day the wind was constantly changing from down the runway to a complete crosswind. Now, according to Fort Flight, the best conditioned runway is 3315. But if you read the conditions of the runways on the Inyo Kern Airport website, which we will link in the description below, it says that all three runways are in good condition. Since we only landed on 33, that's the only one we can confirm to be in good condition. This is another airport that has taxiway markings, but it doesn't have it on any diagrams that we could find. But I believe there's a reason for that. And the answer for that is once again on the Inyo Kern Airport website on a section called film. Apparently they do a lot of filming here for commercials for vehicles, Saab, VW, Volvo, Cadillac, and that's just to name a few. But as pilots, it was coolest thing to find out that at one of the hangars, that's where they film the hangar scene for Top Gun Maverick. This was our third airport of the day. So I didn't do something that every good pilot should always do and it's read the chart supplements because if I would have, I would have known that three clicks is how you get the weather here. Now we tried the phone number to get the weather on the chart supplement, but it asked for an airport ID didn't know how to put that over the phone. So if you guys know that, please let us know so we can share that with everyone else. And of course, since this is an untowered airport, we made sure to call out and let everybody know that we were crossing runway 2002. Now that building on the left is the terminal building. When we visited this day, we walked around. We knew it was safe because the last airline that flew out of here was in November 2013 and has been vacant ever since. What we were surprised to see was just how clean the terminal still was. At this point, we didn't know that they did filming here, but after looking at the website, we found out the terminal is also a filming location, which makes sense why it's so clean.
actually, you know when I talked about that Top Gun Maverick hangar? That's the one right there in front of us. Did not even know when we visited it that that was what it was. But lucky for you guys, now you'll know when you visit. Now I can't remember how hot it was. It was pretty warm, but we were so glad to have the pilot's lounge. It was nice and cool in there. It's pretty well stocked. Just make sure you donate a dollar. I think that's what they ask for, for water or chips or whatever. And a quick note about the fuel, it's pretty cheap. It's about a dollar cheaper than my home airport. So that's huge. Now, as far as parking, there's plenty of spaces. There's not really that much traffic here and they all have tied down chains, which I highly recommend using because again, it can get gusty at any time. The coolest weather is obviously in the winter, which I highly recommend as it can get up to 118, 119 during the middle of summer. But whenever you visit, you won't be able to help but notice just how peaceful this airport is. All right, checklist time. If you found this video helpful or informative for your trip here, please give it a like. If you don't want to miss our next one next week, please subscribe. And for a little channel like us, you guys have commented a couple of times, which means the world to us. Please keep them coming. All right, checklist complete. And while we were there, we were lucky enough to see Mercy Air come in for landing. Luckily, there was no emergency. They just had to reposition out of China Lake for another Mercy Air helicopter.